this for kids? What is this? It's, it's not for kids. Yeah, it is, because you guys are all Disney people. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm not that. That was 20 years ago. It's like when people say to me, like, wow, you lost a lot of weight. And I'm like, 20 years ago. Right. Can we move on? I've been this weight forever. Yeah, you just, look no, great. I didn't say anything about your weight. But you were in a roundabout way. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, I said you were did. a Disney guy. <laughs> I'm not a Disney guy. I was on Nickelodeon. I know. Well, whatever it is. <laughs> so you have kids that watch this, probably. So I can talk about, like, queefs or whatever. You, you know can, know what I mean? can talk about queefs. It's starting off weird already, man. It's this is like, so good. It's it, so great. It started it's off, so bright. It, what, what is this? It started off weird when you thought that I was accosting you in the lobby when really I was just going to the bathroom. No, I, you just have a... Um, a large presence. I, I didn't say anything about your... You called me fat the second I, no, we I met. Did, no, I didn't. The second we met. You just like, have this, like, kind of, like, young Michael Moore kind of a vibe. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, Bowling yeah, for yeah, Columbine yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was just like... I don't know who he is. Is he good looking? You don't, know Michael Jason. you don't know who Michael Moore is? I don't know. Who that oh, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a huge documentarian. He's, he's huge. He's the last person you <laughs> yeah, want to yeah. get compared he's to. He's like a huge yeah. guy. I didn't say you look like, I just say younger version or whatever, like yeah. in a different no, alternate good. universe, you know yeah. what I mean? Like the other spider Man. Yeah. I just want to say that in this first five minutes, you've compared my co host to Michael Moore, and you said, <laughs> I look awful. <laughs> no, I didn't say you look awful. I just said that you looked very tired, and I just realized what it was. What is it? It's just, I guess when people lose weight, they this this extra skin. I fucking hate you. <laughs> you, have, you, have ex, you have extra skin underneath your eyes, you know what I mean? And that's what it is. So, you know, I watch 600 Pound Life. You can get surgery for that. <laughs> can I? Yeah, yeah, like skin removal. I want to get that's my eyes done. Dude, you look fucking like menacing with your eyes right now, dude. Stop it's it. the light. It's the lighting. <laughs> it's the lighting. It's definitely the lighting. I'm gonna just do it like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben, it's like, you look you look great. That being said, my 600 pound life should win an Emmy, and Dr. Nazarden is yeah. a gift to this world. He's a gift to this world. He's unbelievable. And, and since that, you're a Disney guy, you can probably get like ahead and then get the surgery done on your eyes. Uh, first of all, I'm a Nickelodeon guy, and secondly, I'm the best looking person in this room. Can we talk oh, about? Oh, that's so fucking rude. What you just said, but I'm so sorry for swearing for your. For your audience, no, you, but, no, yeah, you can, yeah, you can yeah. swear. All right. Well, you got to be f hell out of your minds. <laughs> <laughs> You're wicked crazy right now, man. Like, what do you? Hey, I can swear. You can please. swear. All right. Have what, you what, seen like, my do an intro? Do an intro though. Did you do an intro? No, we it's have the intro pre-recorded. I mean, we can. We've already, but we're recording. We're Are good. you gonna introduce me at least? Is that how can it I works? Do, I we was could. thinking about this. May I? And you interject it's your wherever show. you want. Okay, here we go. Okay. Bobby Lee, young Bobby Lee, born in beautiful Poway, California. His parents met in a little town called Korea. No, okay. they didn't. They didn't meet in Korea. <laughs> yeah. Did you Wikipedia that? <laughs> no, but they're both from there. Yeah, but they didn't meet there. They met in LA. Okay, so they yeah, met yeah. in LA. Yeah. So, fell Keep in love. Keep going. I wanna, no, I want to see if you know. <laughs> okay. You know what? Yeah, that's right. This is fun. I want to see if you know anything about me. Start from the beginning and until now. Born in Poway, California. Yes. Father. What year? 19, in the 70s. Okay, pretty close. Yeah. Go ahead. You're recently 50? 51. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Father used to have a small... A penis? Sh a shop. <laughs> had a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> had a... That was real. That's real. Had a small hovel apartment in Sacramento that he used to travel back and forth uh, to. Okay, that's interesting that you know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else? How did I get my start? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's... I don't want to... <laughs> stop jumping around. Stop jumping around. Stop jumping around. Bobby, okay, yeah. was on the wrestling team at school, yeah. fought at 130 pounds. No, 98-105. Okay, 98-105, yeah, yeah, worse. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, did well on the wrestling team, uh -huh. right? Then got into music, keyboard player, uh -huh. right? Artist, though, well-rounded artist, yeah. right? Hung out in coffee shops. Let me do yours. Fake that he was a what skateboarder. I do know you don't know even let half. Me do, let me do yours now. Is that all true? No. It's Josh all true. Pe Joshua Peck. Okay. Well, Born in North guy, Hollywood. Guy, grew up in North Hollywood. Not true. Guy you had never heard of until I showed up on your podcast. That's not true. I'm a huge Nickelodeon. Gilbert told I'm me everything. Your co-host told me everything. He was like, listen. That's, Bobby didn't that's know the fuck rude. you. Were. <laughs> what you're doing right now is so rude. Josh Peck, North I, Hollywood, right? We used to be fatty. Am I not right? I'm from Lived New in York an apartment. City. Lived in an apartment. That's top line. I know, Everyone but, I know, but I'm just saying this is like, right? Then you did a show on Nickelodeon called uh, Josh and Lenny. Yes. Something like that, right? Okay. Where you're like, you were wearing like um, Gap jeans, because I saw a photo once, and like a kind of like a, um, a shirt and stuff. And yeah. it was for like kids. Like an anime they loved shirt. It. it was a comedy, three camera sitcom. Four. Big, huge, 14 million followers on Instagram. 15.1. <laughs> 
<laughs> as of this morning. <laughs> right. And now um, you're a podcaster slash you're still acting a good amount. You're in a new Christopher Nolan movie called Oppenheimer. Small part, but in it's the trailer. About, you're in the trailer, which it was I was in. I was watching Avatar two by myself, and watching, and I go, "Oh, Christopher Nolan!" And when your head popped, I go, "I know him!" I yelled that out loud. Really? Yeah, because it was like so shocking. I never. I don't know anybody that's ever been in a Christopher Nolan movie. Wow, that's not true. Who do you know that's been in one? Um. My friend Thomas Lennon was in uh, the third Batman movie. Right. Play the Doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But then who else do I know? That's it. That's all I know. Do you mm-hmm. know how many people do you know from the um, Christopher Nolan movies? Like, aside from the one you just did. No one. Did you Did you do any scenes with Robert Downey Jr.? No, Killian Murphy and Matt oh, Damon. Oh, oh my, how were they? And Emily Bond. How were they? And a young man named Kenneth Branagh. Heard of him? Yeah, I love him. <laughs> so good. So good. Such a good actor. Were you nervous? The most. No, are you being real? Are you, do you get nervous because you're a TV guy? Do you want to... Can I tell you the I story? I love it. I would interested? love to hear it. Oh, my God. I love that. I'm going to watch it. Okay. So, I auditioned in November. I, I don't... You also don't know how much you can say, right? So, I auditioned... So, you get a two-page scene. It's a monologue. Okay? No one else. And it's not a scene from the movie. Because Nolan is so, like... He doesn't want any leaks. So, it's like, you're going to audition. Do this scene. Mm-hmm. And it's talking about something relative to the movie. Right? So I do it and I wear a suit and I'm like, okay, great. I don't get these movies. Mm. I know I know what I'm good at. You mm-hmm. know, I know what's possible for a guy like me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Best case scenario, I'm. There's I'm, no green slime in it or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> it, yeah. Best case for me, I'm on a CBS sitcom 8:30 at night that goes seven seasons that no one's heard about, but yeah. I've got like 40 million when it's said and done. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Okay. So I audition. My agent calls me two weeks later. I've forgotten about it. She goes, no one saw your tape. He likes you. You're in the hunt. I go, great. Wow. You know that feeling. Oh, it's the best feeling. That's why we do it. It's better than doing the part is that. It's the only good part of it, of the whole thing. It's the only good yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because when it comes out, it's so disappointing. No one knows that you're in it and all that stuff. The worst. Yeah, yeah. Every two weeks now, from November to the end of January, you're still in the hunt. They're having meetings about you right now. Mm. They're casting. And then throughout this process, they're like, Killian Murphy, Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., you know, Benny Safdie, Rami Malek, Gary they, yeah, they all know wow. they have it, by the way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they, they, yeah they, they got the call day one. Day one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're also like, there's no room for me. Mm. You're, you're like, you listen to that cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh, please. Like, they're giving five liners to Oscar winners. Yeah. And then I was like, and now I'm living in this place of, like, do I bother my agent and be like, what's going on with that? Or do I continue to live in the fantasy that maybe it's going to happen? You live in the fantasy. That's exactly right. Mm. I, I'm up for one one right now. A big one. I heard on your pod. You auditioned for something big in like two pretty weeks big, ago. Pretty big. And I went into my agents and they, and I... And I thought, because I never got a call or anything like that, I thought it was the worst, uh, uh, probably the worst tape they've ever seen, so I'm not even going to bring it up. Why do you say that? Just because if they don't call you and go, you know what I mean, and say anything, I just feel like, you know what I mean, it's just something that we should forget, mm. right? Did you feel good about the tape? Initially, I did until I never got a call, ah. right? So like two weeks went by, I'm like, not a call or anything, so I'm like, oh, it's a, it's a shit box audition, I should just let it go, take acting class, whatever. Sure. So um, I went into my agents for a meeting, and then some guy, the agent goes, oh, by the way, you're in the mix for that movie. And I'm like, and I'm still now living that. I'm not going to get it. Mm. I'm not going to get it, but I still feel like I have a shot, and I love feeling that way. Because e- if I get no, it'll be bummer, but even if I get yes, it'll feel it'll be the same feeling. Same feeling. Because it's like now I have to do it, mm. and now I have to deliver. Are we gambling addicts? Is that what keeps us in the business? Dude, that's interesting that what you just said, that it, there is an addiction quality to it. And our life is mostly mm. losses. And They're yet all still, losses. we hold on to like one in 10. Mm. Right. And that keeps us in. It keeps us in. But then it's like, but then what gives somebody the incentive to keep going when they don't work? Because I know dudes that have been like at it for 15 years, 20 years, and they, they just really don't work. They have agents. They barely get things. What keeps them in the game? Should they quit? Ben, you're a normie. Should people like that quit if after 15 years they're not working? Yeah. <laughs> quit. Okay. I was going to say the only reason you're in it is probably because you're broke and you're hoping to make back all of your actual gambling losses over the last 15 years. 
You need well, something. A, I'll tell you a sad fact. Tell me. So, uh, maybe 15 years ago, I saw a documentary about, um, you know, fountain, their sunset, you know, the street fountain. Yes. And there's all these apartments, and there's all these apartments where people die, old people die. Mm. And um, they don't get found for like w a week or two weeks or a month. And the reason why people find out they die is because of the smell, right? <laughs> Which is, you know what I mean? Probably not a great smell. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. And even if like I live in an apartment and I smelled that, I probably wouldn't even call, would you? You'd have no idea what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, would think I just think that I like le you know? left my turkey sandwich in the fridge. Yeah. Or I would probably think it was me. Yeah. Like I'm just, with soap, I'm just washing my genitals or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like I have some sort of STD or something yeah. like that, right? And, but anyway, they found the, and all these apartments are actors from like the 50s and 60s and 70s. They're super old, and they have like old headshots in their fucking apartment, mm. and they 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 have no family, loved ones, friends, and they just kind of die in their apartments, and they never made it, but they still have all these like reels and you know what I mean, Ugh. scripts laying around, right? Like auditions for like Orange and Julius that, yeah. commercials, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, and Fuck. and. and that's pretty much 98 or 99.9 percent .9 of the people that are following this dream, and you and I bitch about we didn't get Spider-Man, whatever it might be. But it's like there are people that aren't even in the running; they're not even, you know, I mean, a part of the game. But they keep trying. And there's an old saying: it is a sin to um, support mediocrity, mm. right? So it's like it's so hard because I I'll have like. An open mic or go up and I see and he'll come up to me and go, Hey, do you think I'm funny? And you wanna go <laughs> I always usually go, Yeah, you got a shot, kid <laughs> yeah. Right? When you don't know you know he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's wrong. You should say, nah, dude. You should it's not happening. Because even if like, they quit, but like Kevin O'Leary on Shark Tank. Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Wonderful. Why, he what tells happened? people he'll he'll tell you when your business is absolute shit. Go go up there. It's your dream to go in front of them and pitch them. And he'll look at you and he'll say, go to the back, shoot your business right in the head. Because the faster you can get on to the next business, the better off you are. You're just wasting time. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's real. But have you also, Bobby, like I, uh, Chris Rock has this whole quote of like, I don't think of you in anything other than time spent in the business. So if you've been in edit for 10 years... I like you, 20, I love you, yeah. and 30, I respect you. Yeah. Like at this point, I've seen, I remember when I was a teenager, and this kid I know was the star of Spy Kid. Not like the main Spy Kids guy, but like, you know, not Megan Trainor's husband, but like a tertiary. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, yeah. Thirdly, they were like, Robert got Spy Kids. It was, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it was the talk of acting class. And like, I've seen so many of those, or even like doing social media with like David Dobrik and all these people that have these moments. And they're like, I'm fucking killing it. And I'm like, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, what, here's the, the truth is every, you can't maintain it the whole time. Mm -hmm. Right. But it's like that whole wave analogy. You, you got to kind of stay out there. Right. And if you can catch little waves. So there's certain people I see and I go, oh, that person hasn't worked in a while. But I, I think that they're just, you know what I mean? Right now about to catch a wave. Right. But there are just some, certain people just shouldn't even, they don't even know how to swim. They shouldn't even be out there, mm. you know? And yet, um, cause I, don't, I don't want to be mean and I'm, you know, I want people to like me and it's like, I want, you know what I mean? I also them. want to encourage people, you know what I mean? Yeah, but at the, <laughs> <laughs> Say it here, kill no, them I here. I, I, no, I can't, kill, I can't kill everybody here, but it's like, I think, you know, it, get, it does someone a disservice if you just pump these dreams into their minds and these hopes when they don't have the skill set to do it, you know? But it, how is it possible, and maybe it's alcoholism, that I truly, if I had to describe myself, yeah. I think I, I, it's egomaniac with an inferiority complex. I literally think I deserve nothing, but I'm also Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah, it's... Like, so, <laughs> dude, exactly. But it's not at the same time. It, sometimes for me, it's like one week I'm one. Yes. I'm, I always say to people around, I'm Korean Elvis. <laughs> you guys know that. You guys know that, right? You know, I walk around like this. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, but then something it's like, oh, I'm Kim Jong Un. Right. You know what I mean? I'm the most hated man on planet. Earth. You know what I mean? It's either Korean Elvis or Kim Jong Un. There's no in between. Impressive, you, you, powerful guys. <laughs> about, you know? Well, no. How about for, I'll give you somebody else, like Kim Jong Un. Um, I'm going to give you a name. I'm Cho Sung Wee. 
Do you know who that is? And, and maybe that's yes, the let's problem. Yes, let's have a fun. Let's have a fun game. Okay. Who's Chung so- Cho Song Wee? Cho Song Wee. This is the new game we're playing. <laughs> new game, Cho. Who's Cho Song Wee? Cho Wee. I'll give you hints. Okay. Right? He went to college. Ooh. In America? In America. Good. Mm. How old is he? Um, who, was he? Oh, dead. Oh, okay. Wow. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, the killer from, from Virginia Tech? <laughs> wow. Do I know you or do I know you? This guy references Cho yeah. Sung Wee a lot. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. My you, you goodness. You get Bop or whatever. You know what I mean? That's what your prize is. But yeah. So I'm like, wh- Korean Elvis or Cho Sung Wee. I'm never in between. Mm. Yeah, I get yeah. What, Do you vacillate? Because you're more normal than the two of us. I don't mean to project. Mm. But like, do you vacillate through those things? Or do you have a resting? I think I'm pretty great. No, I have a permanent complex where I never think I'm good enough. Mm. But then I always find a way to be better than I thought I was. Mm. So, I don't know much about you. May I ask some questions? <laughs> you, you can. Just uh, first, the way that Josh and I met. I was Lenny on Josh and Lenny. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. He was, was a heavy set. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I was the one who lost was, all so the you're, weight. So you're an actor as well? Yeah, I'm an actor. I right. was the skinny cool one. Oh, you're the skinny cool <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> No, Wait. I'm not an actor. It was called Drake and Josh, but because you said Josh and Lenny. Oh, right. <laughs> is okay, that, okay. is that an of mice yeah. and men reference? <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know that you were on a show with another guy, and I just didn't know the name. Anyway, so wh- 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 where are you from? I'm from New York. <laughs> yeah, but how did you guys meet? How are you here? We met because I shot Josh a DM a long time ago when I was working in an ad agency and got him a deal for Little Caesars for like 50, 50 grand. Wow. 50 and he I said, got him a $300 and, and master's and he, gift card. And he said, and he said thank, thank you by giving me a 200 and fifty dollar masters gift card. Only like next time, I'll take ten percent of the fee. Wow! Um, but I, uh, I own this beverage. That's one thing that I do. Oh, it's called wow, Sprit fancy. Society, uh, and I also am a memer. So if you like memes, boy, with no so job on, on Instagram, Instagram and stuff? yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a memer. Can I ask you some uh, personal questions? Please, yeah. Are you straight or gay? I'm very, very gay straight. No, I'm very straight. I'm You're married. very straight. Okay, yeah, to my wife. You're married to your wife. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. his wife has a empire. She does. What do you mean? Empire. She's a, she's a comic. Maybe I'll introduce you guys. Her is name really is Claudia. Comedian? Yeah. And she'd be a comedian? Uh, yeah. Claudia what? Ashray. Oh, yeah. I've heard yeah. of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your wife? Yeah, it's my wife. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sold out Madison Square Garden. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I, understand. I understand it. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. Did yeah. she? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She did. Well, yeah. Then who, why you, what are you kidding so about? She, well, sold out the, world, the theater, not the... I was going to say, uh, we, uh, we say that you sold out Madison Square Garden to the theater. Yeah. How many, how, how many seats is the theater? 8,000. Pretty big. Not bad. Not MSG. By yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. She's unbelievable. Will turn. That's a huge. She did sell out the winter. Yeah, that's a huge. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, she's bigger than I am. Yeah. <laughs> she's, okay. she's bigger than all of us. Did that feel good? <laughs> did, I know what you're trying to do. Did that, did that, <laughs> I, I, I know what you guys are trying to do. Does that feel good to p- bring me down? And you put me down. Does that feel good? When are you going to shoot a special? I'm not going to do one. I'm not going to do one. Yes, you are. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah, because I'm in your life now. <gasps> yeah, I'm going to help. Uh, and do what? You're better than you've ever been. No, I'm doing You need someone it. to tell you. You're absolutely I, telling me. You are so Josh, capable. Jo- oh God, jo- you know what Mark Marin said the other day on his pod? You like this guy, Mark Marin? He's okay. Right? I love him. Best, right? One He's of my us. friend. One of us. He said, I corner myself. I corner myself until something great comes out. You got to corner yourself, Bobby. Oh, uh, interesting. I don't even know what that means. Corner yourself. What does that mean? I don't know. I just said it. I'm in the corner of a room? Corner yourself. Make yourself do the special. Because it's going to come. But you got to put the pressure on. Okay. How do I? Let me ask you. So- I'm going to tell you something, okay? I'm ready. Number one. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> I love I know, you. I love you. I cackle. You. I fucking love you too, man. I cackle, Bobby, at you. Let me ask you. I'm going to tell you something. I was at YMH. I was with Christina and Tom Segura. Mm. And I go, you your need to have. Mm. I, I, you need to have uh, Josh Peck on your podcast. And no, I swear to God. Stop. I'll call him right now. I'll tell him. I don't go to Texas. I know. I'm just saying. I'm going to go to Austin. Like, we would love to have him. And on I pick, Southwest. I pitch. My point is, is I'm a huge fan of yours too, okay? Thank you. Now listen, okay. I will do a, a a special when I feel it's right and in God's time, mm. right? But I don't like being forced into doing anything, okay? And here's the thing, all right. What is that gonna do? A special? Yeah. Tell me what that's gonna do, and I have arguments against it. Go ahead. You'll probably get paid a very significant upfront fee. He's rich, though. 
Okay. He has no, no yeah, kids. Not, and he's not, recently, doesn't, want, doesn't want money. And he's recently broken up. Yeah, yeah but not. He's but, no overhead. But the money isn't going to be like as much money as I could use that material on the road. You could use it after the road. Can't. No, you Why can't. not? You have to do another hour. It's spent. Once once you put it on the special, it's, you got to kill it. No, but you... you on you the test, way to the... You have it on the road for a year, and then... I've been doing that for 15 years with, this, <laughs> with the thing I have now. Yeah, so then... Could you imagine pulling oh, your dick out on Netflix? That's why I can't do that. Your big finisher? And, number, <laughs> and also number two. So money is not a thing. So what, what is it? Fame? Is no. that why I should do a podcast? Fame? Here's what I wonder. I mean, uh, special? Tell me what, what. I have a small part in Oppenheimer. I know we talked. I can't stop talking about it. <laughs> a small part. Yeah. But my buddy said to me, fuck all that. Christopher Nolan put you in a movie. He saw everybody. And you were like one of ten guys who was like, he can be the Jew, Jew scientist who looks smart in yeah. the background. Yeah, yeah. Pick me. Yeah. He's like, that's something. Yeah. He's like, that's a validation of your hard work. He's like, let that inspire you for the next decade. Like when you're doubting yourself, when you're auditioning for that CBS sitcom where they're like, oh, we're going to go in a different direction. What I'm saying is I think it's two entirely different situations, man. I think it's a confirmation of your greatness. I already know I'm great. All right. Do you know how I didn't expect me to give up that easy? I know, but do you know how I know I'm great? I I can go to any city in in America and go up whenever I want. If I'm in New York, I'm like, I can call and go. I can go up at the greatest comedy club at any night I want, right? Mm. So I have that kind of weight. Number two, if I go on the road, I can I sell out immediately, right? Never done a special. Still, can I was doing this way before even, right? But even now more, yes. right? So it's like, right now, I don't understand the benefits of it, and here's the thing. It's, the thing is, is that I don't want to, uh, this is so hard to talk about. It, it I don't, <laughs> I want to be low. I want to be below Jimmy O Yang and Ronnie Chang. Who is that? Uh, the, you don't know Ronnie Chang? I know Jimmy. Jimmy O Yang. These are comics. Asian. Oh, Jimmy O Yang. These are comics that are Asian. They're much younger than I'm, I am. They're putting on specials than doing right. And I always like to be underneath them, mm. right? Because I like being here. I don't want to be Kevin Hart. Don't I worry. Don't, I, but you know what? It hurts. So I'm gonna walk away. It hurts. So I'm gonna walk away for a second. That was so good. That timing. Holy shit, that hurt. Whoa, the pain. Whoa, the but pain. You know. I love it. I love it. Let's move on. Can we move on from it? I, I would like to move on from it. I would like to move on. You're because the greatest. Because that was a dagger to my heart. No, 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 no. You're no, the stop. greatest there forget is. It, forget, forget, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. That was so good. I love oh, you. Oh, shit, that hurt so bad. I, I'd rather you have know you here than Kevin Hart. <laughs> no, no, don't say that. There's nothing would, you could do I to make up for it. I did a movie with Kevin. I love You're it. The best. You hit it. You hit me in the body with a bat. I love it, okay? And that's good, all right? So let's move on from it. All Can right. I ask you another? But this is yeah, go a, a little, uh, you know, this is diving deep as well. Uh-huh. But I don't mean to overly project. So stop me if I can. If, if, I, if, if it requires that. You recently started taking a medication Yeah. for your ADD, Ritalin? ADHD, yeah. And you feel like it's been a bit of a game changer for you? A little bit, yeah. I recently started taking medicine too. Mm-hmm. I similarly feel like it's been a game changer. Yeah. And it like, as sober guys, I had felt like for 15 years, I'll be 15 years, God willing, in February. It's amazing. I had done all the. That's thing. why. That's why we put alcohol in front of him every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen years, <laughs> almost over. <laughs> and that's how I would go out on on fucking orange wine. Yeah. Um, and so, I felt like for fifteen years I did all the right things. I, you know, did twelve step. I meditated. I cleaned up my side of the street, and I couldn't overcome this broken brain of mine. Mm. And then I finally resorted to taking medicine because I was like, I got nothing else, mm. and mm. it like worked beautifully. Yeah. Did did you have a similar experience? Yeah, it, well, it, you know, um, it's here's how I know it works. I don't think I feel like it's working. I feel like other people feel feels like it's working. Yeah. So I, I've I've had conversations with people at comedy clubs and stuff, and every time I talk to a comic now, they're like, "Whoa!" And I'm like, yeah, like halfway during the conversation, they'll go, "Whoa!" And I go, "What do you mean?" And they go, "You're not gone." I go, "What do you mean?" He's like used to just halfway during a conversation just walk away and he goes you're you've been here for eight minutes and you've been talking to me like what is going on 
And I go, oh, I never really even noticed that. But it's like, um, in that way, it's helped. Like yeah. I'm, I can listen, and I, I, I also um, know what you're talking about, and um, I'm interested. Yeah. And, and those are the things that's changed. But I don't really feel any different. You know what I mean? Like, I still get kind of. Dep- I'm like, I've been really depressed. You know. Oh, they have pills for that too. No, I don't. I don't think this. I don't think pills can fix this one. What do you think the depression is stemming from? Loneliness. Think so? Yeah. It's not loneliness. It's um, you know because I've been, I wasn't. What's why are you smiling? <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, don't do this. It's no, a no, bit, no, 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 no. It's, it's not a bit of mine. Yes, it's it is. Bit, it's not. Uh, it's yo. just that I said loneliness that you smiled, <laughs> and so I want to know what the f- that's about. <laughs> you know what you no, were what, doing. No, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you were, I just said that was. You were dropping you my, landmines. This no, is I your bit. I, it's not even a bit. I'm a Bobby Lee historian. This it's is a not, callback. Uh, all right. It's not a callback. What I'm this, saying is is that when somebody is like opening the up to you, so, see you're it, laughing again. This is your. It hurts. I got molested by someone that's with Down not, syndrome. That's not what this is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. What are you giggling about, dude? I'm giggling at him. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't know we were getting reruns. Uh, Go. All right, so what I'm saying is, is that, you know, there are times... Jo- a stop. I just love you. I love you too, but let's just, can I just say this? I'm not going to Brendan shop this. I'm no, we're not going to drop, yeah, yeah, you're not going to Brendan shop this. And this is not the same thing. What I'm saying is, because that one was kind of funny. I, t- you know, when somebody talks about being molested by a guy with Down syndrome, is funny, right? This is different. This is like, I'm really being vulnerable about what's going on now, and you're smiling. Not anymore. All right, so ask me again. <laughs> it's, well, not a bit. Bit. it's not a bit. It's not a bit. Can Ben ask you? No, I need you to ask me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where do you think the depression's stemming from? <laughs> See, you can't do it. Yeah, I I'll can't. just I'll just talk about it, and you can smile. I don't care. I'm really lonely. Okay. And because I, I was in a relationship for ten years, and um, it was the first holidays where I wasn't in a relationship in a long time. So for, during Christmas, I um, I went to a restaurant by myself, and I ate, and that ended up like being I was in a Korean spa at 11 a.m. This is men's Korean spa I go to, and I was surrounded by all these naked Korean men, and they were making noises. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Making noises. What the f- is your problem, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It's not even a vulnerable thing I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good energy right here. You know, I was seeing all these old, naked Korean men sitting around. Like, you're just in a, you know what I mean? You know, in, you know. You're hot with gooks. You know what I mean? That's what, <laughs> that's what it is. You know what I mean? Sure. That should, that should, that'd be a cool band name. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a cool band name? Uh, I'd wear the merch. <laughs> yeah. Hot with gooks. What kind of music, <laughs> though? <laughs> what? what kind of wave trance? No, yeah, but it's got to also be some Tibetan, like, groaning or whatever, moaning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sitting there, and, you know, and also Koreans, they make noises. Right. Old <gasps> Korean men. Yeah, but this is the one that they... I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. You know what I mean? And I don't know what that f- means. But I'm sitting there and everyone's going, I go, I go, I go. And I'm sitting there and I go, it's Christmas. I'm alone. I'm with these naked Korean men. I'm 51 years old. And all these negative thoughts started coming in my head. And then I just beca- started getting really depressed. Like, like everything's hopeless almost. Mm. You know what I mean? And also, you know, these are things that like in your head you think it's going to last forever. This is just a moment. It'll pass. This it, is not like how every Christmas is going to be. It's just this Christmas, right? But my head says, you know what I mean, differently. It says, you mean, it's gonna be forever. this is forever. Mm-hmm. This you know is I mean? a preview of more bad to come. Right. That's our and, brains and, are wired. And, 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 and in reality, it's like I've never been, in terms of like my career and my life, it's never been better. It's like I'm so busy, you know? So it's like I really have nothing to complain about. But in that moment, it was just super depressing, you know? Um, and I don't think any medication can stop that. I just have to, and you know what, what happened was after that, um, I was like, I'm gonna pump up my meetings and I wanna, you know, because I can't, because once you stay in that, you know what I mean, you could relapse yeah. quick, I think, you know. When, do you think that, because for that moment, like we're all in long-term, have been in long-term relationships, you're newly out. Was there like a three week, like uh, the way it would be on a relapse, right? Like I would imagine the freedom of after a breakup, for like the first month, it must have been a reeling, weird, high, like, what was that like after 10 years? Well, in the beginning, it's always like, 
Oh, new, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. New. New. Mm-hmm. New pee, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is going to be fun. And after the first time, you're like, that was pretty good. Mm. That was fun. After the second time, you're like, ah, it's not working. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All these fantasies that you have in a, when you're in a, a monom- monogamous relationship for like a long time. You, you know, as a man, you, you, know, you live through other guys' stories or you fantasize, you see a hot chick at the mall, you, you fantasize about it. And, and all those things aren't true. When you actually do it, it's like, oh, it's not living up to whatever I thought it was going to do or feel like or whatnot. Yes. And then after the third or fourth one, you're like, oh, it's definitely, this isn't, isn't the path. So now I'm kind of like, yeah, I, I'm d- back to ground zero. And I'm, was that the right term? Uh, and I'm going to just take a break from it and figure out, work on me and figure out what I want and, you know. But usually people make the case for being in long-term relationships because of the kids. But you never wanted to have kids. I do want them. You do? Who said that? I don't know. Me? Yeah, right? you, you, just you now. Assume, you assume that I want kids. <laughs> me just now. I like little kids. You think you'll have them? No. I want them. Really? Why wouldn't I want one? Is that a new revelation No, it's, I've always wanted one. What are we going to do about that? I have to pump it in. Yeah, but to whom? I don't know. That's the thing. I know. Ben, that's the who thing. should he? No, no, no. Here's the thing. You can, I'm, I'm complex. Here's the thing. You know, it's like, I know you probably like, I don't know much about you, but you probably like me- simple music. What does that mean? <laughs> I, well, I just assume that you're like, oh. John Mayer? I, no, no, yeah, yeah. Like, you know I mean, I'm I love Coldplay or whatever, right? <laughs> you just seem like a guy that likes simple music. I like punk music. No, no, I no like just let, let me just finish. What death I have. metal, I like wave trance. That's some music you like, right? You've talked about that on the uh, Yeah, all right, well, that's what you like? I Do, like what you oh, like. Okay, all right, all right, fine, but all right. But so then you're complex like I am. Uh, I want, you know, there's complexities that I'm looking for. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you can go out with a, I've dated, I've, I've gone on dates with hot chicks. Kalila's Yeah, babe, she's beautiful. And I, I, lo- I love her. I love her. His right? ex-girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, they've, you know, they'll, one thing will be said and I'm out. Like I had a dinner last week at, on a date and she goes, I thought Trump was all right. Mm. You know what I mean? As a president. And as soon as she said that, it was like, I'm out. She was why? so hot. Why? What? Me? Why? No, but why? Why did I react that way? Trump. I should be able to accept that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, for, that's just a me thing. You might, not, you might be able to, you know what I mean? No, I that's know a what you think. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it, also, if you were on a date and somebody goes, yeah, I voted for him twice, how would you feel? Twice, no. <laughs> yeah, the first time you would be like a mistake or yes. like you've learned your lesson. 100%. But this person voted twice. Twice is f- Wild. Why? Yes. Twice. And, and it's okay. It's okay if you know what I mean. You you wanted to d- could date. I, I can't. Yes. I don't know why. I just can't. Maybe I'm a communist. <laughs> you know, who knows? You know what I mean. Maybe I'm just a libtard. Whatever they say. Mm. You know what I mean. But I just can't do it. Hmm. You know what I mean. And I have some rightish principles myself. You know what I mean. I do. But I just there's a certain like I had another day where a girl goes. I hate the Beatles. <laughs> and already I'm like, I'm fucking out. Out. Right. Out. Out. But also politics on a date, that's just, why are you going there in general? Great. It doesn't matter. Left, no, right, right, no, nothing. Right, no, 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 no. What the hell are you doing? No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You have to know up front. No, you be- don't. Be- be- I'll tell you why. Because then that person's too invested at all. Like, normal people shouldn't be that invested. Yeah, but I want to know that information so that like six months down the road, she says it, and I'm already invested emotionally. I understand, I guess. But there's context six months in, right? Because you know them a little bit better. Yes, oh, there's like yeah. a weird warning sign I'm sure, in that. I'm sure that girl doesn't even like Trump. You know what? Like uh, she's prob- unless, she's, she was, unless you were dating like a Fox News correspondent, I, I bet you that like people just talk to talk. Yes. I don't know. I don't want that ever coming up early. She's regurgitating what her dad said at Thanksgiving to you because she thinks it sounds smart. Right. And it's I think a, that's what it was. Yeah. It could have been that. She might have been trying to impress you. By the way, Maybe. my wife is like, compared to me, it, I'm, I am a hardcore right Republican. The reality is I'm an Obama Democrat. She's like AOC, Bernie Sanders, right. ultra left. How dare you think that? And I'm yeah, like, babe, yeah, yeah. come on. Come to the center right, slightly right. with me. Yeah. yeah, I'm more center. As my buddy said, when I was going to marry my wife. And I was considering, like, you know, when am I going to pop the question? I was like, you know, like, my wife and I don't have, like, I got to say, like, we, we don't have, like, these deep debates. And he looked at me, been married for over 10 years. He goes, 
You don't want to debate with your wife. <laughs> no. She's not your friend. She's really? your wife. What do you mean? She's not your friend? Especially if you're going to have kids. It's a completely different role. Yes, she's my best friend. And yet, what I get from you, what I get from my, my sweet baby Benjamin here, yeah. is so different than what I get from my wife. I see. Totally different roles. Mm. I personally, best friends with my wife. Like, if we weren't married, we're best friends. Mm. That said, no debates. No debates. What, so, but do you guys align, thinking wise, in terms of like the I, type of I movies al- you like? I or- align with her. It's easier you that bend. way. Yeah, I yeah, bend. I don't. I refuse I to bend. bend. So that's, I will not so bend. So that's the difference. I will not fucking I, retreat. I, I understand. I, I, not... I retreat. I see it. It's a problem. All right, I'm out. I retreat. It's much easier. It, I know. I did that for 10 years. It's like, you know. It, Got it. What? So you, you don't want to bend anymore. Tonight, we're going to watch The Bachelor. Can't. And, uh, and no, then you but... do it. You, you have the iPad. You're slaying in bed. No. And you're watching it. Do you do that? No. Okay, well then, so yeah. if she said that, would you bend? If she said, we have to watch The, the bachelor, bachelor, that wouldn't be my wife. I wouldn't have married somebody that forced me to watch The Bachelor. Wow. I, oh, mar- wow. okay. I married somebody that says, I'm going to watch The Bachelor, and I could say, okay, I'm in the mood to have my brain numbed for an hour from just idiocy, or mm. I could watch TV in the other room. Let me ask you this then. Or okay. scroll TikTok. May I ask you guys this? Headphones in. This is another problem I had, right? So... One time uh, during the pandemic, I was living with my girlfriend. I love her, by the way. And um, eight hours in, I was playing video games for eight hours. And she walked into the garage and she goes, "Okay, that's enough." Ooh, that's she a, was. That's all, that's she was right. No, no, no. no. Yes. By the way, no. <laughs> yes. No. By the way, <laughs> no. I, can I? Can I? Can I tell you why I don't think that she was right? Thank I don't, you. Thank. I love you. I don't. I don't think that she was right because there's a different way to say that. Like, you going like this, okay, that's enough, means that she has been waiting the entire time while you're having fun, thinking to herself how much she hates that he's having fun, when in reality, the other way to say that, if there's something to do, maybe you guys are late for dinner, hey, it's dinner time, <clears throat> not- It's the I've pandemic. Been wa- I'm with you. Nothing is happening. No, no. I'm I, a, I'm I'm a, go, ahead, go ahead. I'm a Kalila Bobby historian, so allow mm. me. Oh God, oh God this is good. You're okay. making me so mad today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Up until this point, they'd been together eight years. Okay, this guy's not new to video games, may I say. This guy plays. What's your game of choice? I like. Uh, he likes that games. Odyssey thing. What's it called? Not Odyssey. What the fuck? Gal- Gateway. What's it called? What, what do you mean, with what's a G. A, G. There's no G. Okay, some shit. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, this I guy, like I farming like, game on the iPad. The Stardew, <laughs> Stardew Valley. I like. You know what I mean? RPGs like Fallout, Skyrim. They the Skyrim. Like a, yeah. Okay. Okay. But so, so you're a gamer. Thank you. Extreme. Okay, so then maybe, of course he's going to game. That's like Claudia getting angry at me for having a turkey sandwich. Eight years, okay? <laughs> I eat. He gamed, put glue on his thumbs, oh, glue gamer. thumbs, gamer. peels the glue off nonstop, okay. okay? Wakes up, four o'clock in the afternoon. This woman had made quite a bit of concessions. I'm Kalila, right? The pandemic starts. We can't go outside. Suddenly I go, oh God, it was hard before. <laughs> And now we have to be inside all the time. What's that? He already plays video games four to six hours a day when we go outside. Now when we're only inside, he's going to be playing them 12, 14 hours a day. This can't. So she was probably scared. So at the eight hour mark, she said, I got to say something. And she (laughs) walked in. (laughs) You know I'm a boy. I need a break from you. Right? I need a break from you, man. You know. That I, was insanity. Right? <laughs> that was crazy. Pretty good. It's so good. It's so good. It's pretty good. It's real good. Thanks. Uh, but I'm she gonna, was scared. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to argue. Please. It's what I love to do. Okay? I quit doing drugs. Quit doing drinking. Right? Um, I've never had an affair. I'm a nice guy. Would you say I'm a nice guy? Oh, yes. In general, I'm a nice guy, right? And Kalila likes to, um, she likes to dive. Did you know that? She goes all to all these islands. She'll go to the Philippines, yes. Hawaii, and she'll spend weeks diving and killing little innocent fish. Okay? I have no problem with I love fish. Kill them. <laughs> That's what you love to do. Murder animals. Yes. Okay? If Kalila called me, when we were in our relationship. Hey, I'm gonna go to the Samoan Islands for six months. 
and I'm just going to stay in the water to dive, you know what I'd say? Have fun. Because that's what you love doing. Mm. I wouldn't be eight hours in on the Samoan Island going, because I want her to enjoy her life. Yes. It's too much. It's not too much. Too much. It's not too much. You know what it is? If she loves too doing much it, good stuff. Oh, so sometimes it, you so can oh, have too oh, much oh, good stuff. I, you know what? You're right. No, you're wrong. Supplement it with anything else. Ben, you kind of back me up here. I, I'm on your side. Know, thank you, thank you, Eight thank you. hours. Yeah, yeah. He's a gamer. How come you it's don't a... stream? By the way, what do you hate? Money? No. You're by so the way, funny. why no, do you I stream? Because I, I say racist things. Good. <laughs> no, no. There's a market <laughs> yeah. for that. No. You no, think Casper uh, Mattress won't sponsor right. you if you say racism? <laughs> don't sponsor you. Right. So what I'm saying is, is that um, it's not too much because it's like I feel like everyone should have joy, constantly. Yeah. Right. I, I think that if whatever you love to do, I'm just say, I'm saying to my future girlfriend, I'm 100% supportive. I'd even help you pay. I'd pay for you to do it. I would. Not eight hours a day. That's nuts. Getting a massage You're, you're forgetting the pandemic nuts. element. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. What the yeah, f*** are you yeah. supposed you to do? He's sitting what's at home. So, so what, during the pandemic. Years prior where he spent eight hours a day playing and then, and then, No, but see, that's different. I thought we're only talking about one isolated incident. Eight years of this. But you're taking six to eight hours of video games. You know the history, years. though. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, what is it? You can't use history. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an informed <laughs> party. All right, all right. But check it out. So then she does this. I go up there, right? What do we do? You <laughs> can't do that, yeah, Bobby. Yeah, what do we do? Bachelor. Yeah, because that makes her Suffering. happy. She wants to be with you. That's her love language. She's big on these. Oh, you're languages. right. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Can I? Does okay. she ever play video games? No, Never. She hates it. She hates it. Yeah. Mm. Can we all talk about... I heard you mention this. What's a red flag for you? The Beatles thing, the Trump thing yeah. on a date. Can I say my red flag? Go ahead. When I was dating girls, and I'm, I ain't shit. I'm nothing special. But if you're within my age range, uh -huh. Drake and Josh was a kid show, right? It's not like it was one of the many shows on some major network, right? There were like two kid channels. You probably know, you might fucking hate me, but you know of me. Right. I would go on dates with girls, <laughs> yeah. and the second or third date, they go, oh, I didn't even know you were an actor. F off. <laughs> <laughs> right. F off. Yeah. You might think I suck. Totally fair. Yeah. You know me. Yeah. You know can me. Can I be honest with you? Bob. No, can I be honest with you? Very. And I want to hurt your feelings. No, I want you to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but if I was dating you, I saw you on an app, I would not know who you were. I was educated on you. But you're 50. It doesn't matter. I'm saying in my age range. It doesn't matter. There, there are people, listen, there are people, right, at my age range, my age range, that don't know things that I think they should know. But it's kid shit, right? Like everyone, like when you're, like how many, the there's way. not a kid thing I can bring up that we don't all know. Teletubbies, we all know. You're right, I think Sesame you're right. Street, we all, like, there were three kid shows. Like if I was a girl, I watched, I would obviously, in the 70s, I would have seen Sesame Street. And then later, I'm on a date with Grover. <laughs> 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 or whatever. You know Can I, mean? I be Grover? Yeah, oh yeah, or the Cookie Monster, I'm right? I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> the Cookie Monster, right? And you're like, you know what I mean? Oh, I didn't know you were a, a, a Muppet. Very handsome, I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I get it now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. What's or, a red flag for you, Ben? Honestly, I... There, there are no red flags from my not dating a Jewish history. girl. Not a no. Jewish girl. Right now, if I'm dating someone, or in the past, because in the past I met my wife when I was 20 years old, and before that I spent my teens as an obese teen. So mm. really, I, mm. I had rapidly lost weight, met my wife, she scooped me up off the single streets, and I really didn't have much time to date, that's the truth. Right now though, yeah, you gotta be Jewish. It's gotta a big thing. Or, uh, or you gotta be open to converting to Judaism. Really? Yeah. You're a Jew? Will you convert for me? Yeah, I'm Jewish. So I, I wouldn't convert, no. Not even for me? No. Okay. I wouldn't convert for anybody. I understand. Oh, I mean, that's... A, being, it's a huge thing. A religion is a huge, huge thing. Huge thing. Huge thing. It's a huge thing. Huge thing. You know, I'm kind of dating this girl now. She's a Christian, like a devout, every Sunday church going Christian, and she tr she has stuff on her walls. Ooh. Like, like... Wow. Psalm. How do you say it? Songs or... P-S-A-A-L-M. Psalms. 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 Psalms and little quotations about the Jesus. Right. I don't know what they are. You know what I mean? And I'll read them. And she's that. In an, a, and she tries to talk to me about the Lord. And I'm like, mm. I, I just not my thing. Right. Mm. I'll never convert. Should we do our what are you nuts moment of the week? What's that? 
We it's our gripe with the world, with people, places, and things. It's the thing that's annoying us as of today. Oh, let's do it, Ben. Why don't you start us off? So at my hotel, I got off the plane, starving. Ordered a Caesar salad, right? Mm-hmm. Caesar salad from a hotel you expect it to come chopped, right? Mm. No. Have you ever had a Caesar salad where they cut the romaine lettuce in half, they grill one side, they throw it on the plate, and they sprinkle on Parmesan cheese? Gross. What are you, nuts? Unbelievable. I order a salad, pay for the salad, it comes, they give me a fork and knife for my salad, and expect me to cut my own lettuce. Gross. 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 I completely 100% disagree. Oh my God. You like the whole lettuce grilled? You're one of those guys? Yeah, I like one of those chopped salads where they have the ch- half of the f- you know what I mean? You're mm-hmm. thinking of a wedge. A wedge salad. Very different. Why? Because you like the wedge because of the bacon and the blue cheese, not because but of- But I like cutting into the thing, the thickness of the thing. Ah, oh, God, I couldn't disagree more. But you love an old steakhouse. I know you. Yeah, no, yeah, a wedge salad's very different from a grilled Caesar. A grilled Caesar. It was grilled, though? Yes, grilled. Like, no, well, the, the lettuce was grilled? The took romaine, cut it in half, threw it on the grill. You can't do that. Grilled. You can't do that. You can't do that. You're right. You can't do that. Thank you. But by the way, wedge salads are fantastic. My Woody and Nuts moment is simply this. Um, recently, I had friends. They were on a girl's trip for their 40th birthday, and they were bragging about all the drugs that they were able to smuggle into Colombia where they were having the girls' trip. Who's, sorry, who smuggles drugs into Colombia? Agreed, bringing sand to the beach. Secondly... Wait, what kind of drugs? The Cokes. Okay. You know, the hard ones. Right, okay. Okay, the life ruiners. All right. You know, the yeah. fentanyl cousins. <laughs> yeah. First of all, don't smuggle drugs when you have kids. Yeah. Secondly... Don't do drugs <laughs> when you have kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in your 40s. It's done. If you do coke on New Year's, if you do coke in your 40s, what are you nuts? Yeah. I just think it's fucking corny. It's crazy. It's corny. And he, so they, these people with their kids? No. They were on a girls trip. Oh, it was okay. like getting away for someone's birthday. God bless. But I'm just like, drink, smoke a joint. Yeah. Don't do coke. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Right. It reminds me. Tell me, Bob. So there was a man um, who, lo- I can't talk about it. I just thought about it th- because this is going to be on YouTube. It's going to get flagged. <laughs> so so, so, so I'm going to stop. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You got it. You can't stop. No. <laughs> well, there was a man who like um, <laughs> was on the internet and he, um, he had this fascination. He's always wanted to make love to. A horse. <laughs> <laughs> right. So there, I guess in Washington, there was this one farm, when the, one, one guy that was into it. And this is when the internet first started. So it's like, you know, I mean, there was these, this vlog and everyone around the world that liked horses in that way came to this dude's farm, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But a businessman from America, I don't know where, um, lied to his wife and his daughter and said, um, you know, I'm going to a business convention. You guys want to go? So he flew his wife and his daughter out. They, they're at a hotel. He goes out to the farm, right? That night, he dies to he dies because he gets bled out because the horse penetrated him too mm. hard. And the next morning, the cops had to go to the, the hotel and tell the, um, the wife and the daughter what had happened. Just don't bring your kids there anyway. What are you, nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's the ultimate. What are you nuts? Well, that's nuts. Did that's the horse nuts. confess and say, it was, <laughs> it was me? He was taking a nap because he came so hard. <laughs> oh. Bobby Lee. Uh, yeah, thank you. We love you. Thank you for Thanks for coming. Uh, thank of course. You, dude. Great to meet you. It's we too should... short. Next time we got to go longer. Yeah, let's go longer. But wouldn't you rather it be this way? No. Than want a little bit more? No, because here's It's what not because I... we have Neil Brennan no, waiting. He, is Neil coming? <laughs> yeah. Well, is he here? I'm close. I want to wait till he gets here. By what the way, we could do it the four of us. You can keep going. No, no he's I, busy. No, no, maybe a minute, maybe sixty seconds. Neil won't, with Neil. Want, Neil won't want me on, but I want to say hi. He's tough. And also, secondly, he's a good friend of mine. No, he's the best. Secondly, um, the reason why I want to go longer is because um, if we did an hour and a half, we could edit it down to the best stuff. I thought there was some things that I thought I wasn't as good, but it's fine. You do what you do. No, Bob. I, I think you were wonderful. Oh, thank you. It's good. All right. I love you. I love you. Can I get a photo or what? Yeah. Please. Right. <laughs>